Hello friends, welcome to Vivid Chemi YouTube channel. This is Vidya Shri. In this video, we will study about eigenfunction and eigenvalue. This topic from quantum chemistry is very important for CSIR net, gate as well as IIT jam. When an operator operates on a function, if we get back the same function multiplied by a constant, then we call the function as eigenfunction and the constant value which we get is called as eigenvalue. Operator Operating on a function gives the same function multiplied by a constant. In this case, the function is called as eigenfunction. Say for example, I will consider a cap as an operator operating on the function psi. Then you get the same function psi multiplied by a constant c. But the constant what we get is called as eigenvalue. And the function psi is called eigenfunction. Now the whole equation here a cap psi is equal to c psi is known as eigen equation. As an example, we will consider the operator as differential operator. d by dx is the operator we shall consider and the function we will consider it as e raised to minus ax. Now we will check whether e raised to minus ax is an eigenfunction or not. If it is an eigenfunction, what is the eigenvalue? We will find it. So we have the eigen equation a cap to psi is equal to c psi. We will write the operator d cap by dx and the wave function it is e raised to minus ax. Now we will find it. Differentiation of e raised to minus ax is minus e to the power minus ax. So now if you see this e raised to minus ax is the function that we have taken and this minus a is a constant. So we have got back the function therefore e raised to minus ax is eigenfunction and its eigenvalue is minus a. So minus a is eigenvalue of the function e raised to minus ax. Now we shall consider second example. All the examples that I provide here have been asked in the previous year's examination of CSIR net, gate and IIT jam examination. So the second example, now the operator is Laplacian operator and the function is cos ax into cos by into cos cz. Now we have to find what is the eigenvalue of this particular function given here. Now we shall proceed to see how we can solve this. Laplacian operator is d squared by dx square plus d square divided by dy square plus d square by dz square. Now we will operate Laplacian operator on the given function d square by dx square plus d square square divided by dy square plus d squared upon dz square and the function cos ax into cos by into cos cz. We will elaborate this d square divided by dx squared cos ax into cos by into cos cz plus d squared by dy square cos ax cos by 
into cos cz plus d squared by dz square cos ax into cos by into cos cz now if here in the three terms first term we have to differentiate with respect to x so the terms containing cos by and cz will remain constant and in the second term the differentiation is with respect to y so cos ax and cos cz is taken as a constant and in the third term differentiation is with respect to z so cos ax and cos by are considered as constants now we shall carry out the differentiation cos by and cos cz are constant differentiation d square by dx square of cos ax in the same way for the second and third term cos ax into cos cz is constant differentiation of cos cz double differentiation we have to carry out similarly the third term cos ax into cos by are constant double differentiation of cos cz with respect to z square we will see how to double differentiate cos ax term d square divided by dx square cos ax so this can be written as d by dx of d by dx cos ax differentiation of cos x is minus sin x now here we have a constant a so the differentiation is minus sin ax multiplied by the constant so we have done the differentiation of cos ax one more time we have to differentiate with respect to x minus a is a constant term we will keep it outside then we will differentiate sin ax with respect to x the differentiation of sin ax is cos ax and a is constant we have to multiply it so the double differentiation of cos ax is minus a square into cos ax similarly the double differentiation of cos by with respect to y is minus b square into cos by and the differentiation of cos cz with respect to z square i mean the double differentiation of cos cz with respect to z is minus c square cos cz now we shall substitute all these double differentiated values into the previous equation i will denote this equation here as star and we will substitute 1 2 and 3 into equation star after substituting our equation will become cos by into cos cz into minus a square cos ax plus cos ax into cos cz into minus b square cos by plus cos ax into cos by into minus c square cos cz now among all the three terms cos ax cos by and cos cz are common so we shall remove all these terms outside and we are left with minus a square minus b square and minus c square the same i can write it as minus a square plus b square plus c square into cos ax into cos by into cos cz 
Now this term cos Ax into cos By into cos Cz is our function. And this term minus of a square plus b square plus c square is a constant. Therefore, the given function is eigenfunction. And the eigenvalue of the given function is minus of a square plus b square plus c square. So this is how we find eigenvalue of the second example which we have taken. Moving to the third example, the operator is d square upon dx square minus 16x square and the function is e raised to minus 2x square. This question is from gate 2013 examination. They have given that the function is eigenfunction and it is asked to find what is the eigenvalue of the given function. Now we will see how we can solve this. So the operator is d square upon dx square minus 16x square and the function is e raised to minus 2x squared. So this we can write as d squared upon dx square into e raised to minus 2x square minus 16x square into e raised to minus 2x square. We have to do the double differentiation. So this I will write it as d by dx of d by dx e raised to minus 2x square then minus 16x square e raised to minus 2x square. I will denote this equation as 1. Now we will consider only this part and we will simplify it. So this is the function that we should be differentiating. Differentiation of e to the power ax is a into e to the power ax. And if we want to differentiate e to the power ax squared, the differentiation is e to the power ax squared into a and this x square also we have to differentiate it with respect to x and it is multiplied by 2x. So the differentiation is a into 2x into e raised to ax square and this is how we differentiate this particular equation d by dx the differentiation of e raised to minus 2x square so it is e raised to minus 2x square then the constant minus 2 and the differentiation of the term x square it is 2x d by dx minus 2 into 2 is minus 4x e raised to minus 2x squared minus 4 is a constant so minus 4 d by dx x into e raised to minus 2x squared now we have to carry out the differentiation of these two function x into e raised to minus 2x square so we will use uv rule of differentiation this d by dx of u into v is nothing but it's u into d by dx of v plus v into d by dx of u. Now this rule we shall apply to the function x and e raised to minus 2x square and we will differentiate it. Minus 4 first function x as such d by dx of e raised to minus 2x square plus e raised to minus 2x squared d by dx of x. This is further written as minus 4 x into differentiation of e raised to minus 2x square is e raised to minus 2x square minus 2 and the differentiation of x square it is 2x. Then e raised to minus 2x square and differentiation of x with respect to x is 1. Further we will simplify minus 4. 
x into minus 2 into 2x is minus 4x square e raised to minus 2x square this is one term plus e raised to minus 2x squared further simplification 16x square into e raised to minus 2x square minus e raised to minus 2x squared sorry this is minus 4 e raised to minus 2x square here we have completed the difference double differentiation of e raised to minus 2x square term so this equation now we will substitute into equation 1 here is equation 1 now we will substitute equation 2 in it equation 1 will become 16x square e raised to minus 2x square minus 4 e raised to minus 2x square minus 16x square e raised to minus 2x square so these two terms get cancelled with one another and we are left with minus 4 e raised to minus 2x square so if you check this this is the function that has been given in the question and now the function is multiplied by a constant and the constant is minus 4 therefore the eigen value of the given eigen function is minus 4 when momentum operator px operates on the function e rise to i k x find out what is the eigen value of the function and do let me know your answers through the comment section below this video thank you for watching like and share the video if the topic shared in this video is useful for you subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos.